Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. We're going to do some more 24 gauge today. This might be the world's first pattern on video 24 gauge bismuth load. We're using my... enough stuff into it, we can uh, guarantee it's the world's first. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have my Ivor Johnson Champion 24 gauge. This thing does just have an improved cylinder choke, so we'll have to handicap ourselves. We'll pattern one at 15 and the other at 25. If this thing had a full choke, we'd obviously want to do 25 and maybe 40. But we can't do that today, sadly, until I get another 24 gauge anyway. But here's what the shell looks like. These do have a fold crimp. Normally, you don't see 24 gauge with fold crimps, but there you go. It's 18 grains of HS6 with a SG24 wad gas seal and a cushion section. And then it has the shot cup from a Claybuster 7 8 ounce 20 gauge wad, which are for tapered holes. They fit 24 gauge like a glove, though, because this is straight wall. Then we have 7 8 ounce of, no, it's, this is 4 5th ounce of number 3 bismuth is what's in here. So 0 0.80 on the scale. Let's see how these do, guys. Alrighty guys, we got 24 gauge here. What we're shooting is 4 5th ounce of bismuth. It's an improved cylinder choke. We're at 15 yards. Let's see how it does. I don't know if one of these has ever been put together before or not, just to be honest. I don't know either. It's kind of cool though. Well, that's a pretty respectable pattern from what I can see. Let's see what is this it? thing looks like. I'm hopeful these do well, but I really don't know. Everything looks good. There's like no pressure signs whatsoever. It's got a funny shape from the firing pin, but that's the firing pin. Yeah, the firing pin's square and has a chip missing. Yep. I ain't replaced it yet. Nope, but the haul all looks good. I guess the crimp looks great too. Yeah. So we have chronoed. Huh? A little bit of recoil. Uh, we have chronoed a 7 8 ounce load with that um, same powder charge, and it's moving about 1280 FPS. That's a little bit lighter load. I'm hoping for around 1300. I forgot to bring one to Chrono, but guys, the pattern is actually really good. That would certainly crush a duck. I didn't expect it to be as dense as it is, but for a 15 yard waterfowl pattern, that's not bad at all. Here's a closer up view of it. You can see we actually do have fairly good density. Let's step it back to 25 yards. Obviously, it'll be more open, but still. For a close range duck load, that'll certainly do it. Alrighty, guys, the second shot. We're back here at 25 yards now. Same load that Josh fired. These do not have buffer in them, by the way. And if we forgot to mention, this is number three bismuth in a Fioki hole. So let's see how it does. It does have a little bit of recoil, and it got stuck. I also have not replaced the ejector spring yet, but primer looks fine. We'll get it out in just a second. That's like the number one issue we've had with this gun. As is, you can see though, there is focused really well. You can even see the knurling on the hammer. Nothing yeah. looks wrong with it. When we get it out, we'll show you the rest of the brass and crimp and all that. Yeah. Let's go look at this pattern real quick. So this one is spread out just a little bit more as you would expect. In the middle, we still have a fairly good pattern. But I think 20 yards with an improved cylinder 24 gauge might be the limit. I wouldn't shoot that at a duck, just personally. But it'll certainly get the job done if you have to. With a full choke, obviously that would be much, much better. But that's not bad. Or if you're a humanitarian with um, home defense needs, you ain't got to worry about polluting that way. No, not at all. If you have to take an intruder out, you might as well do it cleanly. Non-toxic, guys. Yeah, I'm sure the uh, coroner would not agree with that. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's toxic in a whole different way. Yes. But anyway, guys, that did fare a whole lot better than I ever thought it would. So, we have the show out now, and it looks just fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. The gun just has a super weak ejection spring. If you guys saw the first ever video I did with this like three years ago, you'll notice that the shell's got stuck in it, too. Just about every video we film with it has uh, some stuck shells, but I'll replace it eventually. Now, we're just going to shoot this plate out there for fun. Let's see if I can't hit this plate. I don't have high hopes. This one's been tried to been shot before. Yeah, they're reloads. 
I mean, no, the primer's got a smack on it. Oh, you okay. didn't change the primer. What's the odds it goes off? Probably none. Yep, That's none. <laughs> it Go ejected. Ahead. You only got three shots now. That's all right. I'll probably miss every one. <laughs> See? You're only 10 yards away. How can you? Oh, I can't say that. I've missed closer. <laughs> I've got BBs on it. Yeah. It's got no bead. Yeah, it has no sight bead either. Oh, well, I know for sure I hit it good that time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hit the dirt that time. But oh, well. No, you hit the plate, too. Oh, yeah, well. Let's see what I got with it. I need to make you a bead. I'll just buy one. I got to order parts for it anyway. Why not just buy a bead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm up with it now. See what I can do. That was buckshot. Yes. It's, it's hard to see the sight because there isn't none. That was the ground. <laughs> All right. I'm hoping I got more buckshot. That one sounded like it was. One more. I guess they were all bird shot, except for that one. And that one stuck again. Oh well. Let her have it. How'd I miss that? That rocked it pretty good. How'd you miss? I don't know. I've got one more. I know how you missed. You rushed it. Yes. That That's, 12 gauge certainly hits it hard. The paint is gone now. You can see the circle there on that last shot. Yeah. All the pattern. That's a super pheasants through a 670. Yeah. Winchester super pheasants. Rocked it hard. But that's going to this one here, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>